Skeptics Review, The Bible, by John Smith. It's the book of Acts, chapter 1 through 3. Hey there, fellow followers of Jesus. I'm the Apostle Paul, here to tell you about the book of Acts. Acts was another book written by Luke. How do I know? Well, I wasn't there for that part, and neither was Luke. But the followers of Jesus did keep a scrapbook. Picks or it didn't happen indeed. I got picks for you doubting Thomases. To start off Acts, Luke picks up its narration to Theopolis. Jesus appeared to his band of merry men and provided them with indisputable proofs of his divinity. He was with the apostles for 40 days. 40 days, which really means upteen bajillion long time, remember? Hey, Satan, let Apostle Paul finish his story. Sorry, Looney Tunes 1.0. Jesus told them that John the Baptist was baptized with water, but all of them would receive the Holy Spirit. They asked if he was literally going to restore the kingdom of Israel. Jesus got vague at that point and asked them if they were trying to know the mind of God or something. That shut them right up. And then, Jesus was taken up in the sky. Then two men in white asked the apostles why they were looking at the sky. Jesus was going to come back the same way, one of these days, in the indeterminate future. Next week, maybe. Then they decided they had to pray about whom they were going to pick to replace Judas, who, if you remember, fell into a field, and his guts fell out. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I thought he hung himself. Which one was it? Did he hang himself, or did his guts fall out? Both, obviously. He hung himself, and his guts fell out. Everyone knows that. Ugh. So the remaining apostles, Mary the mother of Jesus, and his brothers all got together and Simon Rocky Peter said, Yo, yo, apostles. Them scriptures, they came true and stuff. The Holy Spirit dove thingy spoke through King David and made predictions about Judas. That guy, whose inside spilled open and his guts came out. Here's this vague entry in the book of Psalms that says so. We needs to replace Judas, so let's all pray about it. But just in case that doesn't work, let's cast lots. Gambling's okay, right? So they added Matthias to their number because he won the gambling. Wait, wasn't he Zacchaeus, that tiny little dude in the sycamore tree? Then, on the day of Pentecost, fiery tongues, literally, metaphorically, and spiritually, appeared, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke in tongues. A bunch of people were amazed to be hearing their own language being spoken to them. They asked, aren't most of these guys illiterate, monolingual Galilean fishermen? How could they possibly be speaking my language? And there you have it, indisputable proof. There's always gonna be skeptics though. They said those apostles were just drunk. Even if you are taken hold by the Holy Spirit, and you talk to them in their own language, they still won't believe you. Simon Rocky Peter stood up and addressed the skeptical crowd. Hey, yo, yo, crowd. We ain't drunk. It's only nine in the morning. We just fulfilling what Prophet Joel said. Joel said us peeps would see visions and wonders, and the spirit would be poured into us. Also, that the moon would be turned to blood, and the sun would go dark and billows of smoke would rise from the earth. See? Prophecy. Right. All that stuff would happen, you know, literally. Ugh. So yeah, miracles and wonders and things. But you guys nailed Jesus to a cross. But him being Jesus and all, he rose again. David talked about Jesus. God promised King David that Jesus would be one of his descendants. Never mind, two distinct genealogies in Matthew and Luke, just roll with it. So repent, you guys, and be baptized, and Jesus will forgive you of all your sins and things, and you too will get the Holy Spirit though. This generation, it sucks, you know, save yourselves. And 3,000 people were baptized and received the Holy Spirit. Did they all speak in tongues too? They sure did. 
They sold all their material possessions and praised God. It was truly glorious. So another day, Peter and John were going to the temple to pray, and a lame beggar was there. He asked the apostles for money. Yo, lame dude, I ain't got no money, but I got something better than money. And Peter picked that cripple right up, and that lame man began to walk, and skip and dance and strut, and do yoga and limbo, and run a marathon, apparently. That's right, he did all those things. And all the people saw, and were witnesses to miracles and wonders. And Peter addressed the crowd. Hey, yo, crowd, why are you acting so surprised? Lord Yahweh, the God of those three patriarchs in Genesis, said this would happen. Yeah, that's right. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You guys had Jesus killed. And Pilate washed his hands and stuff. It's because of Jesus that I could heal this lame cripple. It was foretold that Jesus would suffer and die, and he did it for you guys. Them holy prophets been telling you that this whole time, but you ain't been listening. Ah, oh, dudes, what did we just listen to? I don't even know, man. Listening to Looney Tunes just gives me a headache. Ugh, that's all for today, folks. Stay tuned for more of the wacky antics of the Jesus Bunch, as told by the Apostle Paul.